When it comes to business communication services, Minuteman Press McDonough can do it all. With a complete range of products and services at your disposal, they can help you get your message out to customers, employees, and vendors. Using the latest printing and document management technology, they handle your projects from start to finish. Their energetic and experienced staff is dedicated to delivering what you need when you need it. Contact Minuteman Press McDonough today at 770 770- 9570012. They are located at 571 Jonesboro Road, McDonough, Georgia. Mommy, I don't feel good. Here at Moyes, we have express testing. It takes 15 minutes to get results. We are here to take care of you. Moyes is here. Let us make it better. Hey guys, it's Tyreek Wynn and I am the owner and CEO of Wynn Productions LLC. We are your amazing local video production company right here, serving in Metro Atlanta. And of course, hey, we do travel as well. But our top specialties, what we specialize in, we specialize in commercials. So commercials for businesses. If you're a business, you own your own business, you need a commercial and a video for your business. The number one way to market yourself nowadays is through video and you can use Win Productions LLC. We also do TV shows. If you ever aspired to have your own show, we can film it for you and hey we can help you get it out to people and we can help you promote it as well also we do v cards that's something new that we do aka video business cards it's a video of you talking on the screen and it's just like a regular business card except it's electronic and it's video so you can send it out to tons and tons of people also another thing that we do customer testimony videos that's our number one product that's you getting customers to come on camera and talk about their experience working with you and your business and of course we do event filming and the most important thing we do to make those videos pop give you that extra dazzle and sizzle up in those videos is we do drone and aerial filming so hey you got to make sure you get those videos from sky high well guys hey that's what wind productions is all about this is what we do here and we encourage you to use wind productions llc your local video production company and remember with wind productions llc it's a win-win situation Welcome everybody. I'm now joined by the one and only Adam Irigoyen, and he's an actor, singer, rapper, dancer, and he does it all. And he's a pretty extraordinary individual. So welcome to the show. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you for having me. Oh yeah, of course. So tell me, we're dealing with the pandemic now. How have you been coping with? Uh, man, as well as I think anybody can really, uh, I've just been really trying to do my best to, to keep busy, um, find things to, uh, you know, educate myself on, um, whether it's, you know, social issues or, you know, what's going on in the world right now with politics, uh, you know, making sure, uh, everybody goes out and votes. Um, but yeah, also trying to keep my creative mind stimulated, uh, you know, trying to write more. I try to read more scripts, read more plays. Um, right now, I'm, I'm working on this uh, this film script, just kind of like uh, you know, breaking down this character, just you know, to keep the mind flowing and and keep all those juices going. <laughs> okay, nice. Okay, yeah. So you've been doing some good things during the pandemic, getting work done. So all all that's awesome. So what what are some things you can say that you learned about yourself? You know, doing certain things during the pandemic. Yes. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I'd say that, uh, that, uh, you know, trying, trying to find ways to overcome procrastination. Uh, I feel like that's something that, you know, I, I'd like to think everybody deals with, uh, you know, sometime. Yeah. Uh, and so just trying to find different ways of kind of tricking myself into not uh, putting things off and just kind of dealing with things. 
I think that's kind of been my biggest lesson, honestly. Nice, pretty good lesson to learn. So shifting gears a little bit here. So we're gonna get into your career and some specifics within that. So you started your career at the age of 11. So how did you get started and what were some of your first roles? Uh, so really, I got started because I had joined this acting class out in downtown Miami. Uh, and through there, they took us, uh, the, the students, to this convention in uh, Las Vegas, actually, with a bunch of agents and managers. And it was there that I met uh, my manager and, uh, and a few different agencies that I would end up meeting with. And, uh, you know, after the convention, uh, most people, you know, really would kind of say that was it. Uh, but my parents, I, I was really lucky for them to kind of be able to say, all right, let's take this a step further and go out to LA and, and you know, sign with these agents that, you know, called me back and all that stuff. And uh, and then, yeah, and then we were going to be there for six months to get it out of my system. And, uh, and then, you know, I'm going on 12 years now, or I just passed 12 years living there. Yeah. So it's, uh, you know, time flies. Okay, nice. So I have to ask you, you were, so you were a child when you first started out. And of course, as children, we all have to go to school. So how did you handle the school aspect of it? Were you homeschooled? Did you go to private school? How, how did you do school? Yeah, so uh, education was something that was going to be always super important. Both my parents are educators. So uh, yeah, I mean, they weren't going to let me fly by on that one. Um, <laughs> I, in middle school, I was, I was homeschooled. Uh, I went all through elementary school in Miami. Uh, in middle school, I was homeschooled. And then when I joined high school, uh, I kind of like did this uh, really kind of half brick and mortar, half online. It was like an independent study program. Um, and we would, you know, cause we, I was working on set uh, at that time. So the teachers would come to set. And then whenever we weren't working, we would go there. Okay, nice. Yeah, I think it's kind of cool because I do ask like a lot of people, like a lot of child actors and like a lot of people who were stars as child and who are still children, um, how do they do school? And I think it's kind of cool to see the different strategies and the different ways uh, people do it, you know, so. Yeah, I'm, I, yeah. they definitely make it a priority, um, mm -hmm. especially, especially when you're younger and, you know, yeah. you're on that they, you know, you really can't do anything without getting school done first. So, <laughs> uh, and like I said, both my parents being educators, you know, it definitely wasn't lost on me. Yeah, no doubt about that. So, uh, yeah, I really like that you said that. So not too long ago, after you landed some of your first roles, you had a chance to do one of your main roles, which is one of the main highlights of your career. And that was on Disney Channel, Shake It Up. So what was, what did you have to go through the land that big of a role? Yeah, so um, originally I, I kind of, uh, to, to kind of go back and answer your question from before, I, one of my first roles, um, you know, I, I did Wizards of Waverly Place and that was kind of like really my first role, honestly, on a, on a TV show. Um, and since then, uh, you know, Disney kind of, you know, Disney kind of watches certain uh young actors especially when they when they guest star on different roles and and uh and after i did that show i kind of got um just kind of a few auditions for some series that were coming up at that point pilots and uh and one of them happened to be uh, at that point it was called dance dance chicago it wasn't called shake it up yet uh and, uh and yeah and i got this audition for this show and uh i was in miami at the time for the holidays uh, i sent in a tape i didn't think anything of it. I didn't think anything was going to come from it. Uh, Cause at that time, self tapes weren't really mainstream. It was kind of like on, on the come up. So yeah. And then, you know, January, January comes about, they called me back in. I was super excited. And um, I think they called me in one more time after that to test with Bella and Zendaya. And I mean, after that uh, they, they cast me and, and the rest is history. Wow. That's a great story. I, I like, yeah, I like that story. I like that testimony. So, and I think it's great how, you know, you sent in the tape and next thing you know, you got that call and here you are. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, you really never know. I mean, I think 
especially when when you're a young actor starting out you really kind of hanging your hopes on on every single audition you know this is the one this is the one that's kind of kind of make me uh <laughs> and uh and nine times out of ten it, it's usually not the case uh but i was uh, i was really happy and fortunate that you know i was able to land shake it up and i work on that for uh three and a half years awesome nice so uh, what, what, what can you say was a typical day like on set? You know, what, what are some of the things that you guys did, you know, when you guys mess, may have messed up on set, did y'all make fun of each other? How, how did y'all do it? <laughs> definitely, we definitely always had a good time. School was definitely always the first thing we would do. Um, uh, we would, uh, depending on the day, we would either do a table read or rehearse. Um, uh, and, uh, we would literally go back and forth all day from rehearsal to school, rehearsal to school. Uh, or, you know, the girls would do dance rehearsal. Um, and then, you know, on filming days, we would uh, really only have to do one hour of school because we had done so much, it was all banked. So, um, so yeah, so we would only, very minimal school on shooting days, thankfully. Uh, the best days to look forward to. And, uh, and yeah, I mean, it was just fun, honestly. We would all hang out together, all eat lunch together and just constantly run jokes. Ooh. Yeah, it seems like y'all had a y'all had a pretty good time on set. So I, I think that's absolutely amazing. So let's transition a little bit here. Let's you're an artist as well. So let's talk about some of your music. Um, how, what has this part of your life been like when it comes to the music career? Um, yeah. So when I was doing the show, I did a couple songs for Disney, and then uh, I did kind of like my own little solo endeavor. Uh, just to kind of really test it out. Music is something that, I mean, I feel like everybody's passionate about music, honestly. Music is, you know, universal. And uh, especially like, I just, I love good vibes and, and being able to dance and, um, you know, just being able to like share that energy with people. Uh, so that's kind of why I got into it. And uh, once I did it, uh, once I started with the, the solo career stuff, I, I started to realize it was going to be, you know, it, it, it's a lot. It's definitely a lot of work, you know, kind of diving into the music industry, uh, especially when you're already in the film industry. So I, at that point, um, I think it was about, I want to say 16, 17. Yeah. And I, I just kind of decided, you know, let me let me focus right now on, on one aspect of my career and uh, and, you know, and if the tide turns, then I, I can kind of come back to this. And that's kind of really what I decided. Um, lately, a lot of people have been like really asking me about if I'm going to get back into it or uh, telling me that I should and all that. So, you know, who knows, maybe, maybe soon. But uh, as of right now, it's kind of like on pause. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm telling you, you got, you got talent and you got skill. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. So uh, what are some things you're working on now? And yeah, I know we're dealing with the pandemic and uh, I'm not sure if you have had the chance to be on set, but I've actually, you know, like received a few emails, um, like, cause you know, I, sometimes I've done a little bit of the extra work and stuff. And now they, like when you're on set now, they say it's mandatory that you get tested and all this other stuff. So are you on set working on something right now or working on something music wise? What, what are you working on? Well, right now, um, I'm, I'm not working on anything. I mean, I have I have a couple friends that uh, are just now starting to go back to work. Because uh, like you said, you know, things are start slowly but surely starting to open back up. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, right now, I'm kind of hoping for a way season two. That's kind of what I'm banking on. <laughs> and but no, but honestly, I'm also working on this, uh, this other film right now. Uh, just kind of, you know, I mentioned it earlier, just kind of really breaking down the script and um, you know, really workshopping the character. Uh, hopefully I can, uh, you know, end up filming the movie. Uh, but as of right now, I'm just kind of, uh, you know, keeping my mind going. Okay, cool. So now uh, we're, we'll go ahead and close it out and we'll close it out talking about some of uh, you personally and some of the things that you experience within life. So first thing I gotta ask you is you're, you have done some Disney shows. So I'm pretty sure you've had the chance to do what every child's dream is, do the Mickey thing yeah. with the thing. <laughs> what was that like when you actually did it? <laughs> that was fun. Honestly, that was that was what 
kind of drove me to be on Disney Channel in the first place, right? Like you said, it's every kid's dream to kind of <laughs> say your name, say what show you're on and do these Mickey ears um, with your magic wand. And so, uh, I mean, it was like, I remember that day very vividly. It was kind of like a little confusing at first because first of all, it's just a green, it's just a green stick, right? For like a, you know, cause it's for the green screen and all that. Uh, but the, the thing that really tripped me up was, you know, you kind of grow up your whole life and you're ready, you know, you're training and then the day uh, shows up and then you kind of got to do it backwards because it doesn't read on camera like, like it shows. So like that was a little mind, you know, hurdle that I had to get over. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, other than that, man, it was fun. And, and they really like let you kind of take the reins with whatever you want to say, whatever you want to do, kind of how you want to express yourself. Um, you know, which I, which, you know, I really appreciate it because it's kind of like as a kid, like that was my moment. I was ready. You know, that's what I, I had been in eager anticipation for that day. So. Okay. Nice. Yeah. I, I, I love that experience. And, you know, maybe they'll, maybe they'll open it up for us at Disney world or some one day. I don't know. <laughs> they got it at some point. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. So, uh, next, what what can you say? What's the worst purchase you've ever made? The best and the worst purchase you've ever made. The worst purchase? Mm, I don't know. I try to make. I, I try not to make bad purchases. <laughs> um, oh, that's a tough one. I think the best uh, purchase I ever made was probably like. Probably my Mac, just because I use my computer so much, um, and like just for for work and like for me as well. Like, it just it's so handy and I love it. The worst purchase I've ever made. Um, oh, probably I tried to during quarantine. <laughs> during quarantine, I tried to like I was like, all right, I'm gonna get pull-up bar, and uh, <laughs> and I had it. It wasn't usually like you know how or like before they you kind of has to like rig them up there and then they would just yeah. kind of stay I, I i didn't stick to anything like that i got one that you would kind of like twist and uh and it would extend mm -hmm. but i was doing uh like the next morning after i installed it i was doing like two i was on like three four pull-ups and on the fifth one just the whole thing came tumbling down and uh yeah it was not uh i returned it immediately so <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we, we don't need any accidents. <laughs> no, no, definitely not. Okay. Wow, that's crazy. yeah, in an effort to be quarantine fit, I uh, I fell. <laughs> well, hey, we, 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 we'll all have that special quarantine story that we'll we'll, we'll tell once everything's all said and done. Everyone <laughs> has at least one, yeah, absolutely. So, last, what can you say? Who can you say is the most interesting person that you've ever talked to? Oh, that's a good question. Um, most interesting person. Mm, I don't know. I mean, I tried to, uh, my, my dad, when, when I was younger told, gave me a piece of advice that I, that I have always really taken with me. He said, um, he goes, smart people learn from their own mistakes. Smarter people learn from other people's mistakes. And that kind of has always stayed with me. And, and, and um, that is kind of the reason where like, whenever some, whenever I see somebody, uh, you know, older than me, uh, clearly with more experience uh, in, in any aspect of, of life, whether it's my career or um, just you know, living life in general, I kind of try to uh, take a moment and ask them a couple questions that I might have um, just to kind of learn from them because, you know, people, you know, you and I have different experiences. You've gone through different things. I've gone through different things. We might have different, uh, viewpoints on, uh, similar topics. Uh, and, uh, I, I'm always kind of very open-minded to see other people's opinions. So as far as the most interesting person though, um, uh, man, probably, probably, uh, probably this director that um, kind of, he was like our house director on, on Shake It Up. Uh, his mm -hmm. name was Will Zwick. And he, he like was a house director for Full House. Uh, he did 
you know, episodes of, of Bosom Buddies back in the day. Uh, he used to joke around and say he was like the oldest man in, in show business. <laughs> but, uh, but to be around him, uh, you know, someone who was so wise and so knowledgeable, uh, especially about sitcom television, um, at such an early age, like that for me was super, uh, you know, I was super grateful for that because he was always very available, you know, if you had any questions and just, uh, and just, honestly, just like one of the coolest people to this day. Um, Joel Zwick, that's the man. Okay, nice. All right. And yeah, that quote that you said earlier, I'm start using that. Yeah. <laughs> the one about the smart people, <laughs> start using that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I thank you so much for um, taking time to come on the show and grace the audience and me with your presence. So go ahead and give your social media. Where can everybody find you? How can people follow you? Stay up to date with what you're doing. Yeah, I appreciate you for having me. Uh, on, on my socials, it's just my name, at Adam Irigoyen, Twitter, Instagram, whole thing. Nice. Well, once again, thank you so much. And um, I'm pretty sure one day we'll, once the pandemic is over, we'll be seeing each other on the red carpet or something. And uh, yes, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Absolutely. You all don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. <laughs> Alrighty, that is going to be 318. Thank you. Alrighty, there's your card back. You're welcome. You, for, you forgot your coffee. Two things we want you to know at Drip Through. We have two identical service windows, and we just want you to drive up, order, pay at the same window, and then we'll have you on your way. Moyes Pharmacy and Wender and Roberts are small, locally owned and operated pharmacies dedicated to the best possible experience for each member of their communities. Whether you and your family have been filing your prescription with them for years or you're new to the Atlanta metro area and want to take advantage of their new health clinics, express testing or telehealth services, Moyes Pharmacy and Wender and Roberts are here for you. Make it better, one prescription, one person, one community at a time. Find your closest location at moistpharmacy.com and wenderrx.com. Wind Productions LLC is taking the coronavirus pandemic seriously, and we are following the necessary safety precautions to keep our clients and staff as safe as possible. When we arrive on site to film your video, everyone on our staff will wear a mask and we will keep them on the entire time. Before we set up the equipment, we sanitize it down to make sure it's clean and germ-free. And we also practice social distancing. Make sure you guys contact Wind Productions LLC today to hire us to film your next video. We'll do it safely. <laughs>